International at the Cormac's Chapel Tour. Now, to explain why it's a different uh, ticket price and so on, it's under protection and conservation order. It being made of sandstone. Now, sandstone is this beautiful bright brown stone in contrast to limestone. It's lovely stone, it's quite hard, it's tough, it's got quartz, it's got silica. It's hard if you're a mason to use it, but sandstone doesn't like the Irish climate. So it's rained occasionally for the last thousand years in Ireland. Over those centuries, the rain on the building, it fell, absorbed it in, kept it in, and was not sustainable going forward to keep it that way. You had to act upon it. Ten years ago, it was scaffolding and a roof over the entire structure. It was there for eight and a half years to dry it out first and foremost, which they did. Brought the roof down brick by brick, put it back on again in the same place, hopefully, they did, with a new mortar, which will last a thousand more years, that's hope at least. So they dried it out, redid the roof, installed fans to extract damp air and bring in dry air going forward as well. So the building has been saved pretty much, but we will undo all that good work if we don't control the access going forward. Outside, we can't control what's happening out here. It's fluctuating temperature, humidity all the time. Inside, it's stable. The fans, the doors being closed, keeps it stable, which means no condensation, no moisture traps inside there. So it's better for the building going forward. What it is, a 12th century Romanesque chapel. Now, Romanesque just means the rounded arches, the European style. Previously in Ireland, they built very small, simple, plain churches in this country. First in timber, then in stone. A picture here of one of them. This is called St. Macdara's Chapel on the west coast of Ireland, off Galway, off Carna in Galway. This church <coughs> still stands like this. 10th century church, simple, ordinary, plain. A high-pitched roof, Irish style, but not a very fancy church. A very simple, straightforward doorway, not like this. Simply a straight door with a, a lintel over it like that. This picture is Tomb Grainy in County Clare. A simple doorway, 10th century. Who walked through here once was Brian Baru himself. <coughs> it still stands there today, but it's pre-Romanesque, the simple plain style. This changes everything. What was happening was a man called McCarthy, first name Cormac, was on his travels around Europe and brought with him some artists who drew his journey and had this idea of putting a church, like in Germany, here, which they did. So from Regensburg, monks came from Germany and Regensburg to Ireland to fundraise for a church in Regensburg and built that church. Came back here in later years and built this one in the same way. The twin towers are influenced from Germany, from Regensburg. Again, picture of that as well, of that church in Regensburg. It looks just like this. That is it there. You can see that, folks. The twin towers of the church in Regensburg is like these twin towers right here. Also, this is the doorway of that church. It's behind the structure these days, but it's protected now. That's it there as well. And also, the cathedral in Spire. It's called Spire, Spire. Again, twin towers. So, a German style influence on this chapel here in Ireland. And a new style at this time in the country. In sandstone. Why sandstone? It stands out. It's a statement building of wealth, of power, of influence, and spiritually it's also a beacon of light against darkness as well. A very inviting church to bring people in to the building. Over the doorway is an animal. What might it be? Who wants to put forward a suggestion what it may be? All kinds of answers I guess sometimes. A hippopotamus is often mentioned. They're scarce in Tipperary, I must say. Rhinoceros is also scarce in Tipperary too, but they're, they're around maybe, you never know. That's thought to be, would you someone say goat or bull? A bull would be the correct. Ox or a bull. Why would there be an ox or a bull over the door? Well, Saint Luke is a winged bull. And Saint Luke is the mason's saint. And artists too. Others would say that the, New sorry, the Old Testament, the Book of Kings, describes King Solomon's tomb, how it was built, what was on it, a bull, and one doorway was on it too. So that may be represented here too, that way, possibly too. Now, we're going to go inside. I'll get my, you show your wristbands to my colleague Tom at the door. The yellow is the right colour for this time. So I'll lead the way in, so please come in, and we'll continue on inside. Thanks.